welcome to Nightline. Thank you so much. I'm Pastor Benny, and we want to thank you for inviting us into your home. Uh, a lot of things on television, we realize that. But thank you for allowing us to spend the next hour and a half with you. Uh, we're gonna, we'll have a lot of fun tonight. I'm talking to, to some dear friends of mine, and we have done this almost a dozen times over the years. I'm talking to uh, Michael Basmachin and Scott Daniels, uh, and uh, they, uh, they have a great ministry. We'll be talking more about that. You've heard about it over the years, Barnyard Flea Market, but we're going to talk in depth a little bit more about it uh, tonight. So you want to listen and hang on to everything that's said. Also tonight, uh, Hugh and Shannon Robeson, Robeson will be singing, and uh, we're looking forward to that. Um, and you're going to be blessed. Now remember, right here, right down here, here's your telephone number. You want to call Prayer Partners, 864-244-1616. They're waiting on your call. Matter of fact, uh, they would love to hear from you right now. Why don't you go ahead and be the first one to call tonight, would you? And uh, they want to pray for you, encourage you. They, you know, again, like I say, I don't know if you have days like this. I do. You know, I retired five, six, seven years ago. I don't remember how long. I, I was just a toddler when I did. But I retired, and there were times that I would stay at home, and my telephone would not ring. And when the mailman came or the mail lady came, the only thing they brought me was mail that said occupant or resident or please deliver. And I thought, that's the, only, that's the only contact I had all day long. That's a true story. So that's why sometimes I say there might have been that all that's all. You hadn't had the doorbell ring. And uh, the dog never even barked. I want you to know we have prayer partners who are standing by, praying for you, encouraging you, but we can't do it if you don't call, all right? Please do. So those prayer partners are standing by. And throughout the, the um, uh, program tonight, you can call those prayer partners. Also, we're always in need of prayer counselors to become prayer partners. If you'll call us here at 864-244-1616, you dial that number. We'll get some information to you, an application. Mary and those folks will be looking at it. And they'll be in touch with you. But I appreciate what Mary does every night. Boy, she's great. And listen, thank you again for tuning in. Don't turn the dial, all right? You're going to be blessed. That I promise you. Right now, Hugh Robeson is going to sing Psalm 1. And then Shannon Robeson is going to enter that with him. And she'll add breathe to it. Right now, Robeson, listen to him as he leads us in worship. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is the Torah of Adonai. Blessed is the one who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but her delight is the Torah of Adonai. And on his Torah, she meditates day and night, like a tree planted over streams of water, yielding her fruit in season, her leaf never fades. All she does prospers, she is a tree of life, but not so the wicked. Like chaff, they blow away. They shall not stand on judgment day. But blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is the Torah of Adonai. And on his Torah, he meditates night and day, like a tree planted over streams of water, yielding his fruit in season, his leaf never fades. All he does prospers, he is a tree of life, but 
Not so the wicked, like chaff they blow away. They shall not stand in the assembly of the righteous, for the Lord watches the way of the righteous. But the way of the wicked will perish one day. But blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is the Torah of Adonai. This is the air I breathe, your holy presence, living in me, this is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. This is the air I breathe, your holy presence, living in me. Thank you, Shannon and Hugh. They'll be back with us a little bit later on in the program. But right now, I don't know what to say about my two guests. Mm-hmm. Hello, Pastor Benny. How you doing? How are you? Doing? <laughs> good. 
to get this Your sidekick. Your sidekick. Your sidekick. I'm, I'm the sidekick. No, I mean, no, he's you, you, I've got to tell you, we, we've been together over the years. I, yes. The first time, yeah. we were, you and I were together, and then you came to my church at Eastland. Exactly. And, it was about 18 uh, years ago. Oh, it was a long time, wasn't it? Was it was a not? long time ago when you heard that uh, pastor. And then, of course, uh, Scott has joined you, what, five, six years ago? Yeah, that? yeah. Yeah. Six and years. Yeah, we, yeah. we found so each other, year. did a prison ministry, right, Scott? And it just we did burn right. blurs from yes. there. My and you brother. just launched in April, uh, April 1st to 2nd. Yeah. Uh, you got back out there at the Barnyard Flea Market. Yes, and it was really cold, but you know what? I thought nobody would show up, but they did. And I'll tell you what, the stories I wanted to have tonight, I'll tell you what, it's been it's been great. It's been great out there. And and you and you all been doing this how long now? Six years. years. Six, six this years. This is now? the sixth year. No, really? Yeah. Seriously? Yep. And uh, and you know I I know that they're so I know down in Anderson they they have chaplains or something yeah. down there and I don't know if they've tried to copy you or what I think it's great I yeah. mean you know the greatest compliment one can be ever given yeah. is to be mimicked or copied You're right exactly. I mean, that's right. That's it right. is that's one yeah. of the greatest compliments mm -hmm. you or I will ever get oh, yeah. yeah and uh, and so well so tell me what's going on in your life since the last time we were together a few months back talk to me Michael what's going on well I'll tell you what I mean um, where, where shall I start here uh, I mean as far as the was the, the, the prayer station out there yeah. Um, now you've been said, retired how long? Three years? Oh no, oh, eight years now. I've been no, retired. you yes. haven't. I had Publix eight years ago. Yeah, and I did of course the I see uh, Rita. She's still working a case. She just retired last month. Did she really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, All right. Okay. And uh, it's been a blessing. But I'll tell you why. I to talk about the the prayer station. Yeah. I thought no. It was raining these last two Saturdays so bad that I think nobody would show up. And what happened? Mm. I got people at that table that just blew my mind with their with their testimonies. Um, one I can do right off the bat. We're on here, yeah. With this man Jeff, you want to tell the story? Tell the story, Scott. Yeah, this guy came up to the table. His name was Jeff, and uh, I talked to him last year. As a matter of fact, he was telling me the story. That's how I remember who he was because yeah. he was telling me the same story. He was a truck driver, uh -huh. and he was driving down a road. All of a sudden, he lost control of his truck. I guess he hit a patch of ice or something. Mm -hmm. And then he said yeah. the wheel started going all the way one way, and then it came all the way back. By he ended up going down over an embankment. Wow. So he kind of climbed up out of the cab and came up the hill, and the, the police officer said, uh, where's the truck driver at this truck? He goes, that's me. He goes, man, he said, you're lucky you're alive. He said, the condition of that truck and how far you went down that hill. Not a scratch, not a bump. Not, nothing, nothing, not even he, touched. Uh, so that was the Lord that, that had his had his hand in his oh, yeah. uh, in his life. So it was powerful. In fact, we want to try to get him on the show. Uh, yeah. Because he's, he's got so a powerful much. testimony. It's I can only imagine, you know. Yeah, that's and, Jeff right there. And, yeah. and let's see. We've There's Jeff right there. And that's and me that's making a, crazy and, faces. And, you know, everybody, there when you, you see that, you know, everybody has a guardian angel. Yes. Those who are born again. Right. And I he, mean, you know. He yeah. loved Jesus. I mean, he is, he, he's, he's awesome. I well, I, I, absolutely. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah. and particularly when you know the Lord has spared you, there's something yet for absolutely. him to accomplish, mm -hmm. you know. And, and, so, and so I know that y'all have so many testimonies that people yeah. come to you. They they share with you. Mm -hmm. Now, you'll be going now until how long? Till the fall? Till September or October. Okay. Because yeah. uh, it is warmer. It, it is. To stand out there in the winter would be... It was cold be... last Saturday. It was 40 <laughs> degrees. It was, it was cold. cold. But y'all are usually there from, what, 8.30 to 12, 9 Met, to 1? Yeah, 12, 12.30 to 1 o'clock. Depends how the day is. Yeah. With... Now, where are you? Where can the people find we you? We are permanently in this place. A21. A or H? A. A, A, A as in Alpha. Right, 21. 21. Two one, mm -hmm. and you want to, and so you have to kind of walk down a little way. If you park in the back, walk straight to the front and make a right. If you can park up front, we're the first, uh, first building on this side because front, front buildings A and B, mm -hmm. and it's all marked up there, but um, that you'd be able to find it real easy. A twenty one. A twenty one. Well, I would think too yeah. there would be people gathered around, and are you still occasionally singing? Oh yeah, well no, last two Saturdays. No. Rain like crazy. No, I mean, you know, you, but you, this Saturday looks like no rain. It's going to be uh, rock and roll. At, at, yeah, at, we might be singing on Saturday. Yeah, I, I would. <laughs> Both of you. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell and, you what. And you know, you promised us now. Yeah. Uh, we're going to let you. We're going to have take a bye this time. Yeah. You told me last time the two of you'd be singing mm -hmm. this time, but you've I had know. a little throat problems yes. and they're getting better. Yeah, much and so better. you wanted to wait. 
uh, until you are just right. top notch, and then the both of you will sing. We'll They're talking about my vocal cords, and you know, just Michael, don't sing for a while. Just kick back and let your throat rest. So, well, you know, so it's, it's okay. okay. That's I mean, okay. You know, and and if you've got Rita at home, yeah. just keep your mouth shut and let her go to town. Clean and <laughs> Amen to and that. Just give her a honeydew <laughs> list, and that's what you do. Now, tell me, uh, what do y'all say? What do you anticipate this year? Now, every year uh, we're at the barnyard flea market, yeah. and we have we have things to hand out mm -hmm. we we have pictures we right. have sayings yep. and i'm looking at the table and uh <laughs> they push me so far back i can't reach a that's thing that's okay i Come can't on. even get them with my feet but anyways Ooh. um they they fuss at me and the floor director fusses at me because i get in your way no, no, all right no. now what i'm i know what i'm holding a rock but it just it may i may i hold it up it says trust yeah. jesus watch what happens that's you, our new theme. Watch what happens. Can you get when in? You come to the table. Try to get into that. I'll I know. <laughs> I want people to see that. All right. Trust Jesus. Watch what happens. Now, here is my question. Yes. Uh, I mean, uh, this is for saved people, lost people. You this give is for this anybody who needs to pray. I mean, you know, what, this. You know, they're, 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 my wife puts these on here, uh, like this one here, Psalm Read. 103 and 12. God loves you and wants to redeem you. So, and that one said, what does that This one say? says, God is a lover and a forgiver, not a keeper of wrongs. Wow. I can, from 1 Corinthians 13, mm -hmm. one, yes. And, and I give these away for free. I mean, hey, take it. If you really, if it really enlightens your heart. I mean, you have to buy a lot of rocks. <laughs> can I confess right here? Or I have river rock in the front of my yard and <laughs> I'm using stones for my yard. But I'm cleaning them up, painting them up, spraying them white. Do you have lots of river rock? Yes, I do. Magali, I hope you heard. That. <laughs> and, uh, yep. Yeah, but and so that, and so you, these are free. I mean, yeah, I mean, just a, a, as a token. How many yeah. have you given out thus far? I mean, um, I, we thus know the way. Far, yeah. The last two weeks, I gave about eleven of them away. That's great. And a lot of pictures they took, and I got some new pictures for this year. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And so, are you giving these in place of uh, the the sayings or the pictures that you've had in the no, past? No, no, they're with the pictures. Okay. What I do is take these out one week, uh -huh. and then I take out, I take out, uh, lit I, I go to books and stuff like that for the people that you know need to. They, right. And I give away Bibles, and uh, this devotional right here. Yes. I'll tell you what. Now, oh. is that the one that you gave me? Is yes, that, okay. this is the one I yeah. gave you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, these are brand new, and, uh, you know, I put them on the day that people come. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, I had this one lady read, she wanted, I gave her a, Bi a Spanish Bible, right, right. and I gave her one of these, and you want to hear, this is something. Yeah, read it, go okay, ahead. Okay, sh it's, uh, we like to spend time on a personal relationship with God, yet there is more to our faith than just ourselves. Mm. We are created to be uh, created in community uh, with one another, and one really important benefit is a close community that can can be encouraged or encourage others in times of distress. Think of the last time you felt real anxious or discouraged and reflect upon who you are able to share those feelings with. Together you can pour out our hearts to Him, and all is on His journey not individually, but walking alongside each other. We're talking about Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, take a moment today to encourage the people that are walking through life with you. Oh my. And yeah. you know what? So many people out there share their hearts. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Now, are these there? Are these there for pur purchasing or? No. Those there, I wait for the Lord to say, give one to. Some of the stories I get out there, um, I, I give them devotionals out there like sure. this. And like I said, these were, they weren't that expensive. But you know what, to me, the message inside there, oh. I had a Spanish lady come down and she was a vendor six tables down. Uh -huh. She came down, got my Spanish Bible and uh, she, I gave her one of these. I said, would you please read it? And she read that day's devotion and she cried. Isn't that something? Because it touched her heart yeah. so much. And as she walked down there, she. I've seen her starting to read more mm -hmm. and more, but yeah, it's some it's some more doing down and there. And so, by by the leadership of the Holy Spirit, yeah. you might give these yes. to whom the Lord yeah. prompts you to do. Right, exactly. Because you know yes, what I mean. Right. When you hear the story and you feel their heart, 
you know they need this. Yeah, yeah. I, I always say, do you read devotionals? Yes, well, yes, yes. And then I give them one. Isn't that great? No. So, so Mike, uh, I mean, uh, Scott, tell me, uh, with, uh, with all of this going on, um, I know Mike is, you, both mm. of you have such a heart oh, yeah. for the people. Yes. Um, let's say that uh, Mike is tied up talking to someone. Yeah. You come in, someone comes up, mm -hmm. and uh, and how do you cover? Uh, I mean, if if they want a rock, for example, or do you just yeah. randomly hand them out? Basically, I say everything on this table is free. Anything you see that'll touch your heart, that you that you can look at and read and say, hey, this has an impact on my life. Mm -hmm. So you take whatever you want off this table. And I said, this is also a prayer station. So if you yeah. need prayer, we'd be glad to pray with you. Yeah. Do you have any prayer requests? They yeah. light up on it. When you ask them that yeah. question, they light up. Yeah. Because and you that's know, how we start a conversation. And, and, and you know, I, we have found, uh, particularly in the last few years, as society, culture changes, shifts, um, I, I have found an approach that, that, uh, that I like to use is to simply say, how can I pray for you? Mm -hmm. oh. Exactly. How can I pray for you? I'm not, I'm not putting you on the spot. No, uh, absolutely. And I, you know, I'm just saying, how, how may I pray for you? And uh, and it's amazing how people say, well, pray for my 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 uh, grandchild, or pray right. for my little girl, or, and and then the opportunity, if you sense by the leadership right of the Holy Spirit, pray right there. Right there, and that's absolutely oh, nice. And uh, and and you know, and a lot of times. Some of the best prayers that the Lord hears are yeah. those prayers that you and I pray face to face mm -hmm. when there's a thousand people walking mm -hmm. around us. Yeah, mm -hmm. telling you, the Lord is saying thank you. Yeah, I'm receiving that. And you know, I, and, and I, so let me ask you, what uh, what would you see during this summer as it gets warmer, and because it has yeah, been hot, I and know. it's been difficult <laughs> to sing. I, oh, yeah. But tell me, what uh, do you have any surprises down the road, you or, or Scott, any, either of you? Any cool. I don't, you know, I really don't know. Day to day, I do, you know, basically do, you know, what I need yeah. to do every day. I said, Lord, show me what to do, tell me what to say, and that's what I do every day. And you know, if He's going to put a, a, a an idea in my head or a thought that I need to go do something different, I'll do something different. But as of right now, I'm going to continue to do what I do because yeah. it, it's effective and it, and, it, and it brings results. And, and and I'm happy to to be a servant for Jesus. I think. I think. Do yeah. you do you have any what we would call DVDs or 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 CDs. video or, or video yeah. of the people coming. I know you have to get well, permission to do we that. We can't really do the video. I, we got, I got pictures. If uh, you guys would put up the next picture, please. Um, okay. There's a story behind here. Okay, let's because, see. Which uh, one is it? Yeah. Well, I got a number back there. Let me see. They're picking it out. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right, this guy here. Which one? Okay, the two on the both sides. You see that lady in the middle? Yes. These two guys are emotionally compromised. These guys are having a problem with emotions. Okay. See that lady in the middle, she takes care of them. And all of them love Jesus. I mean, it's amazing um, that, you know, they're talking about Jesus and, and, and they're really happy about what's going on with her because she takes on the responsibility of these people's emotions. How old would you say they are? The, the, I would the say, well, I didn't ask, but I would say the kid on the right is in his early 20s mm -hmm. and the guy there with the other guys there, he's probably in his 30s. But they came out, when I talked to them, what a conversation we had. And they took some pictures, of course, and a couple of prayer stones. Because, you know, it's just, it's a simple thing like this sure. can light up our heart. No, I, I, you I know, know. <laughs> I, I think it, it yeah. is, you know, uh, God can use what man calls foolish mm -hmm. to, to win the world. I, I mean, and I mean, something as simple as that. Yeah. But how beautiful that is, Mike. I it mean, is. you and Scott so, both, I mean, it's great. Yeah. Let That's me tell you awesome. a story about those stones. Yes. We were there <laughs> two weeks ago. Uh-huh. Yeah. And this, this family, uh, oh. mother and daughter and uh, son and a father came up to the table. So they were all talking. We were talking about the <laughs> pictures. And the kid was in front of the stones, and he's, like, looking at those stones. I said, do you like those stones? He goes, yes, sir. I said, take whatever you want out of there. <laughs> I don't care if you take two, three, take whatever. He lit up. He couldn't believe that that stone was free. <laughs> it was a prayer he was, stone. He was so blown away by that free stone. And, and you see people go to, to the, to the uh, barnyard flea market thinking they have to buy Something right. everything costs. Yep. And then, but the greatest gift is yeah. to be able to say, "Look at that." I mean, now that is the man who's done all my music. That's Rick Burnside. Okay. He did three CDs for me, three albums in his studio, and uh, I, I, I love. He's in Florida right now, but I uh -huh. miss him. But 
Yeah, I'm glad they put that one up. That was the man that does all my music. One man, everything, bass, guitar, background vocals, whole everything was great. Isn't I love it. You know, I, I, was, I was talking, we were talking, yeah. and I'm glad to meet, because I've yeah. heard you refer to him so many times. Yeah. People can come, yeah. and they can say, whatever's on the table is free. Yeah. And then what a great segue is to say, and you know, salvation is free. Yeah. <laughs> it's not on the table, but it can be in your heart. Mm -hmm. That's right. I mean, exactly. you know, and uh, what a great segue to ask people to begin a conversation Absolutely. about their yeah. relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Absolutely. I mean, uh, it's fascinating. Nate, we're talking tonight uh, to two of my dear friends, uh, Scott Daniels and Michael Baz Machen. Right now, Hugh and Shannon Robertson are going to sing This Little Light of Mine. Come on, folks, sing for us. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This, this little, little light, light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm going to let it shine. Ain't going to hide it under a bushel, no. I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Shine it on till the moon Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna shine it until Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Gonna shine it until Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Shine it all over heaven and earth. I'm gonna let it shine. Gonna shine it all over heaven and earth. I'm gonna let it shine. Gonna shine it all over heaven and earth. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. You know, I have to ask this question. Have you ever had Shannon and Hugh out there uh, at, the, at the barnyard flea market singing? Are you going to come out? <laughs> we <laughs> they live in Anderson. But yeah, we well, now, wait yet. a minute, but yeah, you've but got a car. <laughs> There's something called gasoline, yeah, yeah, we're and you can drive up to exit 60 yeah. from Anderson, <laughs> and maybe you get on at exit 27, <laughs> maybe down yeah. 25 or a little <laughs> yeah. bit further, yeah. and come on up the road there just 45 go. miles, take a right there. Come on, I mean, people are like, or, yeah, yeah. or they could come to my house and I could drive them up there. Because I live right. about 20 he, minutes. He lives real close. He lives we live close Belton. to where Scott lives in Belton. Belton. Scott I mean, lives in Belton. Why can't we do this? Oh, it's going to happen. It's it's gonna happen. It will happen. It will. It will happen. Yeah. And I, I think so. I mean, that would be great. So people could, you know, can, uh, can see you folks and, and get to meet you out there. Yeah. And, but, you know, isn't it amazing? We were talk, talking uh, uh, a moment ago in between uh, sets and with, with uh, Mike and about how tracks, uh, people, you give tracks out, but so many times, and you find this anywhere you yep, go, as anywhere. we know, you hand out a track and people may usually discard it. Yeah, or well, if there's a trash can or file 13 close yeah. by, mm -hmm, boom. Oh, but Lord. a rock or a <laughs> book <laughs> or a seat, you're not going to throw it. I mean, you're just no. not. No, no. And, uh, and so, so now, Coming up now, A, is that right? Yeah, Alpha A21. 21, you'll find them. And I'm sure if uh, you were to go to the barnyard flea market and, and you didn't know where you were, I've only been once and I didn't get far. And when I came, y'all yeah, yeah, weren't I know, there. Over there. <laughs> All right. I know, but I, know. I will make, and I'll hunt you up. That's okay. Because I'm not a flea market guy. Or if I, I'm I know. Just, some people are, and people love it. Yeah, I know. They do. They walk by, and they're looking for bargains and stuff, and all of a sudden, they look at the signs that I put down there. If you guys could show them signs, that'd be good. I want to show you what we put. We have brand new signs Oh, great. Year. I want to see these. Yep. All right, can, can we pull them up? Yeah, they'll be pulling up. Yep. Gray, uh, there you go. Get past your past. Give it to Jesus. All right. And get past your, your past. past. Give, it, give to it to Jesus. Jesus. All, right, all right. About the next one. Watch what happens with Jesus. Awesome. 
Wow. Now, now. Believe in the power of prayer. That's the one that I really like because a lot of people say they pray, but they, you pray for them right away. You know. And and, you, and again, it, it, it's when you're there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you just go ahead and pray with them on the spot right. if they're if they're comfortable yeah. with that. You you, yeah. you will know. And you were mentioning something else that kind of yeah. fascinates me. When when people who are born again. Mm -hmm. And you ask them yeah. if you have a relationship with Jesus. Sometimes they get a little, um, they get a little huffy. Yeah, <laughs> that scares me because I would be honored, thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> I am anytime someone says, "Do you know the Lord Jesus as your Savior?" Or if you were to yeah. die tonight, where would you go? I l listen. Besides the mortuary, mm -hmm. I'm going to Jesus. That's, <laughs> That's where it. I'm going. I mean, really. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I'm I'm not offended at yeah. all by that. It gives me an opportunity to share my faith. I get to hear that story. Yeah. And so, but you know, you folks are a staple out there. Yes. And I guess you have a lot of recurring customers. Is that yeah. What well, let's well, tell a story about you and Shannon here. How we met them. Yeah. Scott, you want to tell them how that happened? Yeah. Last show we. Uh, Mikey called me the next day, and he goes, I had a phone call 20 minutes after the show ended. So this lady was on the phone, and she said, uh, <laughs> my husband is a Christian songwriter and, and saw the show, and we both loved the music, and we would, he would like to get together with you guys and do some music. So they saw the show, and they saw us, and then they called the show. Or they called Mikey. Mikey's phone number yep. was on the show, and uh, that's how we got connected, and uh, it's, been a, it's been a blessing ever since. Yeah, you never know. You never know. You know, God, listen... He, he brings things together. He orchestrates them. And then it is up to us to play the music. Right. You know? And, 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 so, and so let me go over here. Hugh, mm -hmm. tell me now, you're not retired. You're still in the workforce, right? Or, or you? I work part-time. Okay. I work um, physically at the Anderson County Library okay. in Anderson. And, but I work for Goodwill Industries. Right. And um, it's a program that was started um, after COVID happened and a lot of the workforce kind of disappeared. Right. And they're trying to get seniors, people who qualify as senior 55 or older, back into the workforce. Right. So that's the program I'm working uh, and with. And so you're at the front desk? You're, you're no, I work down in the basement. I prepare the books for sale in the bookstore. Okay. And sometimes I, I, uh, I keep the book, I'm, I mind the bookstore. Okay. Sometimes. That's fantastic. Shannon, are you in the workforce now? Well, I do a little bit of work from home. It's uh, like a consignment shop, so okay. I sell a lot of random items that okay. from home. So. All right. Yeah. And so now, y'all were singing tonight. Normally, do y'all sing together or do um, you sing individually? Yeah, no, this little lot of mine, we do that often. So, mm -hmm. you know, we do it really often. Right, so. right. And I'm sure in your church, you stay very busy. Yeah, yes. we, well, yeah, we singing. sing. Uh, yeah, we okay. do sing from time to time. All right. Not every week, but no. yeah, but we sing okay. at church and um, yeah. So our church, our meeting is a very small group. So okay. It's like th small. it's like three families that Two or more. consistently yeah, come. Yeah. Two or more. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. all it's saying. And you know he's there with yes, you. <laughs> and sometimes yeah. some of the greatest blessings come out of small groups. Mm -hmm. Right, right, you yes. Know? And you always remember this: big crowds <laughs> are not always a sign of big blessings. Yeah. Well, Pastor Tom Ferguson, he's our pastor, and um, he's ministered to us several times, just us as a couple. Yeah. You know, he's able to do that because yeah. it's so small. Yeah. Well, I want to encourage you, seriously, and if you've not thought about it, think about it. Because some, you know, when it gets warmer, particularly, y'all drive up to, to the big yeah. city of Duncan. <laughs> I'll buy you lunch, yeah, right? Yeah, I'll they buy, buy you lunch. lunch there at the, yeah. the barnyard flea market. They've been redoing the restaurant in there, by the way. Yes, tamales are doing Mexican food there, but right. the lines are long. That's what everybody yes, says. Yes, they're good. And, and then, you know, and if you just have an Urkeling, bring your checkbook. And go down the road to BMW and pick you out a card. <laughs> yeah. and, just, you know, and just decide yeah. which car to you, you want. All right, I think it's great. Now, now I'll go back to you, Scott. Now uh, you're not retired yet. No, I uh, I work for myself. Right. I carry uh, workman's comp people to uh, doctors and therapy appointments. Right. So I get the opportunity to have people in my car so I can witness to them. So. And, if you uh, get in my car, I want to talk to you about Jesus. Absolutely, so. my friend. Ab so absolutely. I'm all about it. I love the Lord. So I'm going to talk. To, you know, anytime the opportunity yeah. I get to talk about Jesus, I'm going to talk about Jesus. And, and you know what a, what a blessing to me is? 
is over the years how we've been together and how I've witnessed and seen how, how the Lord is growing you. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's amazing. It, really it is. is. I mean, and, but that's it's mind-boggling. But but that's the beautiful thing about being born again. <laughs> yes, and when you're when you're a Christian, I mean, I like to think that someone who sees me uh, um, would say, "Gosh, you know, my how you've grown in the Lord. Thank God." Mm-hmm. You know, I want I want you to say that. Uh, Holy Spirit, yeah. I Holy mean, Spirit says it all. All right, now tell me about my. You've been retired eight years. Been, yep. And you're you've got some more songs coming out yeah, now got, because we were talking. Uh, mm. I don't do. I don't know if we have this in the still store or not. Y'all. No, they don't. They don't. Sorry. Can you get close up with me uh, here, Olivia? Please. Uh, she's on. She's doing my camera tonight. <laughs> and uh, there it is. Now tell me, Journey to the Cross. We've seen this before, Michael. Yes, Bass, but there's going to be some new songs on there. I'm going to get it, new, uh, a couple recorded out and put them on there because I wrote Take Me Home, yeah. which I was going to do tonight with you. Uh-huh. But because of my throat, maybe I messed up. I, you know, it was it worked out really good. But yeah, I got some brand new songs going on there. So even though I'm, what I'm doing is picking out the best ones that uh-huh. like tell them that you love him. Yes, it's a happy day song. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah I love it. That's yeah. on there. But yeah, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna take. You know, I think what we ought to have sometimes. Yeah. What I think. Yeah. Okay, and again, I'm just a little peon yeah. in, in, in the <laughs> no. grand scheme of things. Yeah. You ought to produce a. The best of Michael Passmage. The best of. <laughs> now wait a minute. Wait, why not? I, I mean, there you. are some songs that are requested yeah. all the time. I know. Please find me. Uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, I mean, why not? Yeah. I mean, I feel definitely. I, you don't get boxed in. No. Let the sky <laughs> be the yeah. limit <laughs> and say, Lord, <laughs> lift, remember, lift. I'll lift my eyes into the hills. All you have to yeah. just kind of step around yeah. the barnyard flea market. If it's a clear day, just lift your eyes into the hills from mm-hmm. whence cometh my help. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> it. And just say, look, I mean, come That's on. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Thank I mean, you. Think about it. Just yep. Think about you were the first one to tell me, why don't you sing out there? Okay, we're singing out there and, now. And, and you see, and that's going to draw yeah. a bigger crowd and oh. all that. And the wonderful thing about the ministry these guys have is that uh, there is no charge. I mean, no. there, But you need to have them in your church. I know pastors are listening tonight. And I know Michael's not singing tonight, And uh, but you, you've, you've heard uh, the ropes. And, but I can tell you, Michael Basmation was in my church and Thank you. Blessed, yeah. our, blessed our people. Yeah. Uh, years ago, we went to televise the yes. service scene. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and people do remember you. It's, it's, they do. It's, they really never forget my face. <clears throat> Even customers from Publix, they yeah. come on and say, Mike, yeah. you remember me? It's what happens when people who've been, con- who've been, y'all been there six, five, six years, yeah. and you have people that come yearly or monthly or bi week? How does yeah. that work? How, what happens when you see people? Who come by? I mean, before and yeah. again, and what happened? It blows my mind that they still look at my face and go, "Michael, what?" You know, I'm like, I've had a few people do that, and see, it's like you remember. I even had somebody I prayed for, Scott and I. We were wondering if the flea market was getting out there and touching hearts. Um, this young man, I, can I tell this little story? Sure. You it blew my. This is what blew my mind. I went to the friend's restroom. Went to the restroom and I came out of the stall and I was washing my hands and this guy goes, I seen you. I seen you on TV. I said, Did you like what you seen? Did you get the message? Did you like the songs? I wish I had a CD, I would hand it to him. Yeah. Sure. But he, he liked the last show that we did together uh-huh. because it blessed his heart and that's what it's all about. Mm-hmm. This station has is awesome. I it love is, the station. It reaches so many, many people, hundreds of thousands. Yeah. And you know, and and and, and what a word of wisdom for you, yeah. when when you are maybe whether it's going to taking a restroom break yeah. or walking up, <laughs> take a couple of three CDs because yeah. you you y'all will never know yeah. when someone would oh. stop and say something to yeah. you. Haven't I seen mm-hmm. you on TV? Before? Yeah. And what Have a it. blessing! And say as you said, and say, hey man. Let yeah. me, thanks for blessing bless, me. Yeah. Let me yeah. bless you. Here. Because the songs and lyrics of the of the of the CD, I mean, they touch people's hearts. Please find me. Yep. Ask Scott. I mean, it's been I've gotten so Incredible. many compliments, and so you touched my heart when I heard the lyrics of that song. And yeah, and that's why I want me and Hugh and I to do some stuff now too, because he can sing. Yes. And yes. I mean, oh yeah. Yes. Yes. Kinda. And Hugh, you, you need to. Stay on him, and y'all need to cut. He's in a recording together. studio too. I'm, I'm doing a record. The psalms that I play. Yes. For you, I'm, I'm in the process of finishing those like up to, on a recording. You like to take the, the 
the scripture, <laughs> and just that raw it. scripture, and, and sing, sing it. to it. Yeah. It, it yeah. helps you memorize it. And it and does. puts it in your heart, and then it puts it on the People tip of your tongue. People don't realize mm -hmm. that uh, a lot of the uh, folks who say, I just don't like this contemporary music, uh, as the deer does, as the deer pants. Yeah. Singing you know, the Bible. Scripture. <laughs> singing the scripture. Help me. I mean, give yeah. me a break. Amen. Uh, you know, um, I mm. mean, this little light of mine, Jesus said, let it shine. Did yeah. he not? That you was on the sermon. And, and people, uh, they don't really think about it and, until right. they see it. Oh, Psalm 21. If you sing tonight, Psalm 1. I, I, I mean, how beautiful. And, and so you are working on a, a CD. Yes, I, I'm in the process of finishing it up. I doing the bass, I'm doing guitar, voice, and bass. Okay. And then I have a friend that's going to do all the percussion for right. me. That's so. great. And so you'll have this out when? Um, probably, uh, definitely by the fall it'll be okay. done. It depends on how quickly I can get my, he lives in Asheville, mm -hmm. and he's got to come to Townville to do the recording. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and he's a very busy man, so getting him into the studio. Well, and then too, y'all you, you come back and we'll yeah. talk about them. Y'all yeah. can sing and, yeah. and all that. And uh, Shannon, you're going to keep him on the straight and narrow now. Mm -hmm. I mean, absolutely, you keep him walking that straight and narrow. <laughs> yep. and, and I think I do a good job at that. I, she I, does I, a I great job. Absolutely. <laughs> she I mean, does a great Absolutely. Because, yeah. I mean, I know Rita does, and yeah. I don't know your wife, I don't think. Well, I don't think you ever met her. She uh, she tries, but she <laughs> yeah, tries. Be she's careful with me. <laughs> she's listening tonight. Yeah, she, <laughs> yeah, she's going to see this one. And, yeah. and uh, you know, uh, we've been talking tonight to uh, Michael Baz Mason and Scott Daniels and the Robesons. Uh, many of you called in tonight. We want to thank you for your prayer calls and your mm -hmm. prayer concerns. And prayer partners have been receiving your calls there. There, There's your number, 864-244-1616. We want to you know, have a couple of praise reports here. We had prayer for a nephew's back who's hurting. Something that's, you say, no, yeah, God's, God's still in the healing mm -hmm. business. And that, and that he was healed. We had someone, Brad called with a praise report saying that his girlfriend's swollen left foot had been completely healed. He called it a miracle. You know, you have to, listen folks, God is still in the miracle making Amen. miracle doing business if jesus christ is the same yesterday he's the same today he's the same tomorrow don't you dare forget that right now we're going to hear another great psalm psalm 91 from hugh robeson come on hugh lead us now he who dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest in the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in whom I trust, my God in whom I trust, he is my refuge and my fortress. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, my God in whom I trust, my God in whom I trust. He is my refuge and my fortress. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from deadly pestilence he will cover you with his pinion and under his wings you'll find refuge his faithfulness is your shield you will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day He who 
dwells in the shelter of the Most High. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High God. Thank you so much, God. I'm fascinated with that. This guy takes scripture right from the Bible, raw scripture, and he puts it to music. And once you get his CD, you'll be, just think of all the scripture you're going to memorize because it's been put to music. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. And it's amazing to me how many people who, uh, who don't have, uh, I have some friends of mine who are fantastic with scriptural memorization. I know some, but I can't, you know, but put it in a song. Yes, sir. You know, beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God he that loveth not. Knoweth not God, for God is love. Beloved, let us love one another, First John 4, 7 and 8. Well, it is. It's yeah. little things we learned over the years, and yeah. we used to teach our young people. Good night. That's from the 70s. I used to sing that uh, back in the 70s before <laughs> most of these people in here were ever thought of. But my point is, you can learn Scripture, and uh, don't be s quite so critical about mm -hmm. the contemporary music because yeah. if you listen carefully, a lot of it is just pure scripture. Mm -hmm. It is. And, uh, and so we'll look forward to hearing that. We want, we, people tonight have been listening, and I, I pray you've been blessed. Um, your, your deepest desire is what for people who mm -hmm. listen, who come to the prayer station, what is your deepest desire? You're in school. My the deepest four desire, I'll tell you what, being out there bringing somebody to Christ, well, like the one person, one lady came back behind the counter and she looked at me and said, I'm depressed. I said, you're depressed, do you know Jesus? She goes, no. I said, would you like to? So we had a 15 minute conversation great. about the Lord. And I said, you know what? Would you like Jesus in your heart? And she said, yes. So after we did a prayer, I said, how's your depression? gone. That's great. So, you know, just to reach people. Scott and I are just trying to reach people for Jesus. Plant that seed, you know, with the rocks, with whatever it takes out there to, to get them to love Jesus, you know, because right now the world's a mess and we need Jesus now. Whoa. People out there, let me tell you what, uh, you, you, to listen to the words that I'm saying right Talk now, him, Mikey. turn Talk. off that TV, get into your Bible, get to know Jesus. He, he, he will make your heart so happy. You ain't got to worry about what's happening on the world. It's just, you, you got you to gotta reach people for Jesus. And that's right. what I'm so passionate about. Well, and you know, as my friend Keith Kelly says, uh, Keith says, uh, so many of you spend time in Facebook. He mm -hmm. says, get your face out of Facebook and get your face in the book. <laughs> <laughs> I like <laughs> that. I do. I love it. Something like yeah. that. I, I'm not quoting it exactly. Oh, yeah. But it is, and, and when you have a heart for Jesus, you want to see people come to know the yes. Lord Jesus. And I think it's not just cavalier for no. what y'all do. I think the fact that y'all are out there at a flea market, knowing that there are thousands of people that come, some of the same folks as you were saying. Yeah. Some are different. What you got in there? This is a different uh, uh, devotional. Uh huh. And this one here, he is not afraid of your mess. And a lot of people out there are, you know, with depression, drugs, alcohol. Um, so, oh man, Jesus wasn't afraid to stoop down in, in the dirt with us. Can you read that? My eyes are blue. Right there, right there. Go ahead and read that. Jesus um, isn't afraid to stoop down in the dirt with us. You. He's not afraid that we'll contaminate him with our humanity. He wow. isn't ashamed of our propensity to sin. In fact, it's yeah. the reason he came to save us. Humbling himself, bowing low to meet us in our mess is something he's very good at. Yes. Nothing about us, regardless of what we've done, repels him. Unfortunately, even though Jesus doesn't focus on our transgressions, we often do. We become critical of ourselves mm -hmm. and feel yeah. like we failed when we don't do everything just right. Many have an internal war raging inside overanalyzing everything that's wrong and cutting themselves no slack. Mm -hmm. Jesus is much more merciful than we are. 
he's not only merciful, he's also able to give us the grace we need to overcome every weight of sin. Amen. And you know, analysis leads to paralysis. Yep. It does. I mean, it does. And how, how true that is. And, and again, I, I commend you. I, I commend all four of you, uh, and uh, particularly you two guys, yeah. because, um, I mean, the idea is uh, so solid. Yeah. You, you've gone to where the people are. Yeah. I, uh, seriously, I mean, how many churches are out there at the Barnyard Flea Market? None. None. Zero. And I, I know. Called, Just I us. talked to a gal in North Carolina, and she went to the flea market. There's no other flea markets. I mean, I wish people tonight would, it, it doesn't take a lot of money. It just takes a lot of faith and going out there, running a table and, and talking to people about Jesus. And you know, there are people listening and I'm sure, uh, you know, our viewers yeah. in North Carolina, South Carolina, and yeah. Georgia. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, there's so many opportunities um, that we have right here to share the gospel. Don't ever say you don't know who to go to. If you don't know who to go to, go to a, go to the jockey lot in Anderson. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, I mean, yeah, or go to the barnyard sometimes. flea market, or go to the Spartanburg flea market. I'm, all these cities anyway. have them, I'm yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm here. I am telling you, and I and I don't go, but but maybe I should. I mean, I've been to see them one time. I maybe need to go more often. <laughs> uh, okay, that's just we'll honest. <laughs> but I mean, seriously. Yeah. I mean, come on. You want to take your folks out and witness? Go to the barnyard flea market. Go see uh, uh, Mike and, and Scott. I'll set you and, right up. And, uh, and, and let them have prayer with you. You pray with them, and they can be praying for you for the next 30 minutes or 45 minutes yep. while they're going out and about. I'm telling you. I mean, you know. Absolutely. And so uh, I guess uh, it's, it's a new adventure every time you go, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, we go out every Saturday, and, you know, different people walk up to the table. And we get to witness to them and say, hey, you know, you know even the Christians... I know Jesus already. Let's talk about this, okay? Yeah. And, uh, you know, they open up their hearts, too, because I want to know and how yeah, much. And you want to talk. You want to talk to people yeah, I do. Uh, who, uh, born again or not born again, we want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. And we want to, and if you have, if you know the Lord Jesus, then you're not going to be offended if we ask you if you know mm -hmm. him, okay? I mean, one of the greatest compliments, and I, I love it because I can say to the person, thank you. Thank you, thank you. If I could, if you could be a member of my church, mm -hmm. what a, what you could do for my church and for my people to know that you're out there sharing the gospel by asking me, do I know the Lord Jesus? And so, yeah, and that and that's what you know. That's what Channel 16 is all about, and that's what our program's about. But that's what your program's about mm -hmm. when you go up there and and park yourself. Now, do y'all take a, uh, y'all put everything in the trunk of the car? Yeah, in the trunk of the car. Mm -hmm. so I, I, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, though, we, the donations that we got last year paid the rent for the all year. See? And you, mean, and you, oh. and you, ne and you never asked for anything. No. And, and yet, and that's how, how God does. And what wow. I'm trying to say is, I'm praying for the day. Yes. Now listen to me carefully. You might not like me after I say this. Uh-oh. <laughs> but I'm praying for the day that you have to pull a U-Haul trailer. Oh, that'd be nice. To uh, Barnyard Flea Market. I, really, I do. Yeah. That I'll it, take it. You've, it's filled with so many things that you want to share mm -hmm. and give away. Yeah. And I do. I, I, I think it... I wanted it to put great. one of them tents up where my car is usually by the table. I want to park somewhere else and open that, that parking place up with one of those tents yeah. you could put up yeah. and have some personal chairs back there so they wouldn't be so, get them away from the, sure. the aisle, you know? Sure. No, so that's, not? that's my prayer. I mean, it is my prayer that my that prayer. will happen for you. And, uh, you know, don't get boxed in. Mm -mm. Let the sky be the limit. Remember, Same. lift your eyes into those hills. Amen. That's where the strength is coming from. We've been talking tonight to uh, the Robeson uh, <laughs> husband and wife. Uh, Hugh and Shannon, we've been talking to Scott Daniels, we've been talking to uh, my good friend uh, Michael Bass Machen, and uh, he, he'll be back with us in the coming months. He'll be singing, mm -hmm. and, and Scott will be singing with yes, him. Yes, he will. And uh, Hugh will. will be singing with him. Yep. And uh, Shannon and I will be <laughs> keeping the beat over here while we <laughs> nod our head. And, and, uh, and they, they sing for yeah. But many of you have called tonight. We want to thank you for that. And we want to pray for you. Uh, we've got people who are claiming a healing for their right leg. Uh, Melvin, you, you're praying for that. We join with you. We're praying for Patricia. 
Uh, we're praying tonight for a mother and daughter. Uh, they need healing. We're playing, praying for a 97-year-old woman. Uh, her back is not feeling, she's not feeling well. An 87-year-old woman. Uh, and uh, we're praying for uh, Dini, or De uh, that's what I'm seeing, Dini. Um, we're praying for you tonight. So many of you have called. We're going to go, we're praying for you collectively right now, uh, right before we go to the hard break. And I want you to know how much the Lord Jesus Christ loves you. Mike, let's you and I join our, right now. Would you offer a very brief prayer? Please? Yes, I will. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight. These prayer requests, Lord, that you grant them, Lord, with your power. Lord, we, make, we want to make them feel as much as they can with you, Lord, having them in your heart. And we love you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. And amen. You know, we believe in the power of prayer. Mm -hmm. We really do. And we've seen miracles upon miracles. Yes, we have. Many of you have called in. Uh, we know they are still happening. Mm -hmm. God's Word says in the book of Exodus, I am the God that healeth thee. He still does it, my friends. He still does it. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care what happened in that little green room with that little white gurney right there. And they said, you have cancer. I want you to know something. God is much bigger than cancer, much bigger than, than leukemia, much bigger than any problem you could have. He loves you. He loves you. And I pray, if it be His will, He bring healing to your body. We want to thank you for being part of uh, the first hour of Nightline. Time flies when you have fun, doesn't it, guys? Amen. And gal, we want to thank you so much. Uh, we're getting ready to come up on 9 o'clock. I'll be right here on the other side of 9 o'clock. It's a hard break. I'm Pastor Benny, and I'm looking for you. I'll be right back.